I mean, obviously, flows have, have now gone back to uh, pre-maintenance level at forty percent of uh, of Nord Stream. I, I mean, if, if you look at prices, prices have only come down slightly compared to the peak that we've seen just a few weeks ago. And I think this tells you just how much the market is concerned about further cuts, and and how the price still maintains a very high risk premium. To really reflect the point that um, that further cuts are very are very possible. So, uh, you know, it's it's hard to think that uh, you know Gazprom and Russia itself would uh, you know just let go and and get the European market to rebalance and get to decent level of storage and get through the winter without further volatility. So, uh, you know, if I have to pick uh, um, uh, you know one side in terms of what will happen, probably my bet would go to we will see further cuts. Mm. Well, Massimo, in terms of the Russian side of things, and this perhaps is an impossible question, but um, from the Russian perspective, where the Russian economy can't do without oil exports, but gas exports yeah. make up just 2% of Russian GDP, what is to stop President Putin from cutting off the, top, the taps from here? And what would the cost be to the Russian economy in doing that? It feels as though um, you know, that, that is a serious risk. It is a serious risk, uh, but, but while the number is low in terms of GDP, it still amounts to a lot of our currency. And, and Russia has been very successful in reducing flows and at the same time, uh, you, know, uh, you know, resulting in, in, in prices being extremely high. Uh, and, uh, you know, last year, uh, you know, Gazprom, uh, you know, made about 50 billion euros, dollars out of sales into Europe. And this year is possible to do more. So, yes, of course, the damage to, uh, you know, to the European economy and, uh, and society, I would say, will probably be much more um, hard to, to swallow if Russia was going to stop flows altogether. But on the other side, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, the amount of our currency that, that Russia will get out of selling gas to Europe uh, is also going to, to dry up. Obviously, uh, you know, as you say, that's not a big part of, of the economy. And, and certainly it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just a fraction of, of, of what it made of oil. Uh, but, but it's not, you know, but it's not uh, zero, right? And so, uh, you know, and, and so, uh, you know, Russia at the moment is in the best of the, of the two worlds, continuing to put pressure on Europe and making quite a lot of money out of it, it can continue to do so by continuing to reduce Russian, you know, to, to reduce flows. So that's probably the most likely option instead of a full full cut down. But you know, we've been we've been used to uh, you know quite a lot of changes in terms of what has happened. So everything is really on the table.